So it's looking like Samsung may be addressing some of the biggest issues we all had with the Z Fold 3 in their upcoming flagship foldable, the Z Fold 4, but disappointment may still be on the horizon. First though, the good news, Samsung will be revamping the Z Fold 4's camera system, much to many's delight, giving it the flagship camera it always deserved. It's rumored to be coming with a triple camera setup comprised of a 50 megapixel shooter and two 12 megapixel shooters. These will have ultra wide and telephoto zoom capabilities. Ice Universe has claimed that the upcoming 12 megapixel 3x zoom camera will be the strongest 3x camera ever as far as Samsung phones go. This is starting to sound a little bit more what I wanted to see on the Z Fold 3. So if these claims are true then technically the Z Fold 4 12 megapixel 3x shooter would be that of the S22 Ultras although worth bearing in mind the S22 does have a 10x zoom camera on board too. I'm not gonna lie though the only reason I ever use a zoom camera lens is for reading something that's really far away let me know if you're the same. Anyway, it was also suggested that we would be getting an under display camera on the Z Fold 4 cover display. However, rumors of this seem to have died down a little bit and I personally can't find any credible sources stating that it will definitely be coming to the Z Fold 4. Moving on, it's looking like the Z Fold 4 will be getting wider but shorter. This is a smart move in my opinion and will solve a lot of the issues many had with the Z Fold 3. As far as the cover display goes, it's being said that it'll get slightly larger and it could be as big as an iPhone 13 mini. That's something I can definitely live with and a very welcome addition in my eyes. As for the disappointing part, we speculated in our last video that the S Pen may be coming to the Z Fold 4. This is now not happening, which is a colossal shame and a huge missed opportunity for Samsung in my opinion. Perhaps even more disappointing though, rumors are flying around suggesting that the battery capacity of the Z Fold 4 will be staying at 4400 mAh, the same as the Z Fold 3. This however doesn't necessarily mean that the battery life will actually be the same. I anticipate a lot of optimization for the inner display, meaning that the Z Fold 4's battery could last a little bit longer than the Z Fold 3. Now throughout this video, you've been looking at a couple of leaks from a pretty reliable tipster over on Twitter. We can see that there actually appears to be very few major design changes. The biggest change appears to be the camera module housing. The bump seems to have gone and the camera modules appear to protrude out a little bit more, much like the S22 Ultra. I don't think this is going to have any practical benefits. I think the phone will still rock around when you type in it on a surface. Personally don't mind the look of the camera bump on the Z Fold 3 either, but yeah, I can live with this change if necessary. Now, something else that many might find a little bit odd is that the Z Fold 4 thickness is going to increase from 6.4 millimeters to 7.1 millimeters. I'm sure there's a logical reason for this, but it does have me a little bit worried as the Z Fold 3 was already a bit of a chunky monkey. The Z Fold 4, however, will be lighter than its predecessor. This is apparently due to design changes to the hinge mechanism. In other news, it's looking like we are going to be getting three color options this year for the Z Fold 4, those being beige, gray, and black. So question of the day, which of the three would you pick? Now, as well as news on the Z Fold 4, we also have some juicy details on the new Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. So if you want to hear a little bit more about that, you can click the link in the top right hand corner now. For now though, I've been Alex, this has been Tech It Easy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.